Tonight, Irma's ferocious winds have the potential to wreak even more havoc than Cat 5's Andrew, Katrina, Rita, or Wilma. To better understand how to protect life and property, University of Maryland wind tunnel researchers recreate hurricane force winds. This is now a category one storm, 80 miles per hour. We're looking at some damage to unanchored mobile homes, trees, and shrubs. This is now a category two storm, 100 mile per hour winds. There is no way you could stand in this. Significant damage to roofs, to windows. This is now a category three. 115 miles per hour. The wind is pulling my my cheeks and my skin back. Anything that isn't tied down will be uprooted and torn from its foundation. After just a few minutes in Cat 3 winds last year, the engineers said enough. It's just absolutely exhausting to stand in those kinds of winds. Today, Irma at 155 miles per hour is among the strongest hurricanes ever recorded. Even homes built to national standards can come apart in just 100 mile per hour winds. Across Florida, the toughest new building codes require designs to withstand a Cat 3. There are building codes that are in place, particularly after Hurricane Andrew in Florida, that really helped uh, homeowners build back stronger. But the reality is that very few older homes and buildings are likely to withstand the fury of Irma. Tom Costello, NBC News, College Park, Maryland. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.